Hey, welcome back guys. Let's take a look at what we will be covering in this video. First off, we'll ensure if you have Python 3 installed in your machine. If not, you will install Python 3. Now to install Python 3, you need to go to python.org website and over there just download the latest Python version. At this moment, the latest version is 3.9.1. So for Windows or Mac machine, you can just download that. Now once you have Python downloaded and installed, you need to verify that Python is working in your machine. To do that, you can just open up your terminal and in your terminal, just type in python dash dash version. And if you get the version number over here, which is Python in my case 3.6.5, that's the latest version I have installed. Now, if you're installing obviously the latest version that's going on, it probably will be 3.9.1 or the later version that's available. So make sure you have Python 3 installed and working in your machine before you follow along with the next steps. Now, let's take a look at what else we need to do. So we will set up our project. To set up a project, we will first create a new project in PyCharm. Now, either you can use PyCharm or any other code editor that you want. In my case, I'm going to be using PyCharm. Once we open up and create a new project in PyCharm, we're going to set up our virtual environment. Now, if you guys are not familiar with virtual environment, it's basically an isolated space where you can install your libraries and script. So you can have multiple projects with different virtual environment and you can have different Python version as well as library installed in each of those environment. So it's always recommended to use a virtual environment when working with Python projects. So once virtual environment is set up, we will begin installing our packages. Now the very first package we will install is Selenium Base. Now once again, if you're not familiar with Selenium Base, it's essentially a framework that is built with Python, PyTest and WebDriver. So we're going to be using this as our test framework. And once this is installed, we will install Chrome Driver. Now Chrome Driver is required to run your test in Chrome browser. If you're running your test in different browser, then you will need to install that particular driver. And we will look into working with multiple browsers later on in our videos. So let me open up PyCharm and create a new project. All right, so I have PyCharm pulled up over here and I'm going to click on the new project button. Okay, so the very first thing over here, it's asking me for the location where I want to store my project. Now I'm going to keep the location same and under the PyCharm projects and just I'm going to change the name to Selenium Python. So once you provide the location for your project, it's going to ask you for the environment that you need to use. So here I'm using the virtual environment. So I'm going to click on that. And then for the location, it's going to ask, okay, where it wants to store that. So what I'm doing is it's going to be storing under the Selenium Python project. So I'm fine with that. So it's going to be my project and underneath that, it's going to create a directory called VN and that's a standard. So I'm going to leave it that way. And then everything else I'm going to leave same and will not change anything here. And over here, it's asking me if it needs to create a main.py welcome script. I'm going to uncheck that because I don't want that right now. And I'm going to click on the create button. All right. So this is creating my virtual environment right now, as you can see. So once this is created and once the project is set up, we will begin with the next steps. Okay. So our project as well as our virtual environment is created now. If I click on this arrow button over here, you can see this VN, which is the virtual environment that it created for us. So it has some library as well as some scripts. These are the default that comes along when we install the virtual environment. So I'm going to close that for now. We don't have to worry about what's in there at the moment. So what I'm going to do is just right click on Selenium base and do a new file. And I'm going to create a Python file. I can name this one test.py. And then I'm going to click on the Python file. So this is just a sample file that I created. And I'm going to do print to just test something out. So I'm just going to print hello world. I'm going to save this. And then I'm going to try to run this to see if this is actually working for me. And to run this, I can do right click and then do run test. So there you go. It printed out hello world for us. That means our project as well as the virtual environment setup is working properly. So that's great. Now the next thing we're going to do is install Selenium base. So to do that, we're going to use pip to install Selenium base. And I'm going to click on terminal over here. And in my terminal, one thing to notice it over here, you can see VN. That means we're inside the virtual environment. So anything we install will be installed for on this particular virtual environment. So that's great. That's exactly what we want to do so that we don't install the packages globally. So to install Selenium base, I'm going to do pip install Selenium base. So pip is the package installer for Python. So I'm going to do pip install Selenium base. So just to make sure if you have multiple pip versions, you can also do pip three install Selenium base. So this will guarantee that you're using the pip3 version instead of using any older version. And I'm going to click enter here. So now it's downloading Selenium base for me. So I'm going to wait once this is downloaded, then I'll be back. 
Okay, so all of our packages are installed now. And if you notice, it installed quite a bit of packages over here as part of Selenium base installation. And if I go to virtual environment here, and over here, if I click on libraries and do site packages, I can take a look at all the packages that got installed. So here you can also find, for example, PyTest. If I scroll down, so over here, if you can notice, it installed PyTest as well as some other PyTest related packages too. So like I said, Selenium base comes in built with bunch of packages and it gets all put together into one framework. And that's the advantage. We don't have to separately install these packages. Instead, we just install Selenium base and it will do all the rest of the work for us. Now to make sure that Selenium base is working for us, what we can do is type in Selenium base here. And if I hit enter, this should not throw you any error. So this should basically give you something like this. So this should show you this along with all the necessary commands required for Selenium base. Now I can also do S base instead of typing the entire thing and it should give me the same thing. There you go. It's pretty much the same thing here. And it told me the version that I'm using for Selenium base, which is 1.51.12. So that's the version that I'm using. For you guys, it might be something different. Now that we have Selenium base installed, the next thing we need to download is WebDriver. Now for each browser, you're going to be working with different drivers. So for example, for Chrome, you're going to be using Chrome driver. For Edge, you will use something like Edge driver. For Firefox, you'll use Gecko driver and so on. So at this point, I'm only going to install the Chrome driver. Later on, we're going to download the other versions too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do S base and do install. And here you can actually see the command. So you can do S base install to install the driver. So here I'm going to do S base install type in Chrome driver. And then at the end, I'm going to type in latest. And the reason for that is because I'm using the latest Chrome version. So if you're using the latest Chrome version, make sure you pass in this latest tag over here. All right, so let's hit enter now so that it can begin the installation for the Chrome driver. Okay, so the Chrome driver extraction is basically completed. It downloaded Chrome driver from the Chrome driver .storage .google API, and then it stored it in this location for me. So this location is basically the same in my virtual environment. You can check it lib, site packages, Selenium base, driver, and then it, over here you can see Chrome driver.exe. So that's perfect. So that means this is actually working for us now. Now the next thing we need to do is actually set up our test. We're going to be writing our very first test and then run our test in Chrome browser. So that's it for this video guys. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to support my work, you can do that by sharing this video to whomever you think will find it useful. And you can also support me through the Buy Me A Coffee website. The link will be in the description for that. That's all for this video guys. I will see you in the next one.